This is a case of chronic duodenal ulcer with gastric outlet obstruction. And uh, it has been diagnosed, finished. This is the patient is for three years is, has intermittent vomiting and now for the last three months, repeated vomiting. And every attempt has been done to avoid surgery. And uh, unfortunately, everything has failed. Conservative treatment, high dose PPI, intravenous fluid has failed. And uh, balloon dilatation also failed. And uh, lastly, with, in cooperation with the gastroenterologist, we, I decided to do anterior raw NY gastro jejunostomy by mini incision. Conventional surgery is very traumatic, is unfair nowadays. And to my opinion, laparoscopic surgery and multiple ports in this way is also difficult for this patient. So it's traumatic because multiple incisions and only this one inch incision is enough for this patient. One inch incision, anterior gastro jejunostomy by Roy and Y. It is very easy and we will see after this, after we start the incision, we will show the operative procedure. The technique of this gastro jejunostomy by many incision, anterior gastro jejunostomy for benign disease actually this one is in this way. As we showed the incision before, it is a, a one inch length. And then the first step is to deliver exactly the incision is on the colon. You see, this is transverse colon. This is the tinea. This is transverse colon and this is the umbilicus. Here is exactly the incision longitudinal is in the transverse colon. You deliver the transverse colon then a retractor will be passed to the lower end of the wound. Then, sponge. Then you pass, hold the colon in this way, the assistant. Then a sponge will be passed to the left of the vertebrae. Then a loop will be, a loop will be delivered this, the, to the left of the vertebrae. The loop is the, loop is the, the jejunum. You see, we already did it. Okay, this is Eugenia loop. And here is, here is the raw NY which we did actually. Now you, you push back the colon down again, then deliver the, this loop exactly. Here, even we did a raw NY anastomosis. You see, this is raw NY anastomosis. It's a good lumen. Okay, this is raw and y anastomosis. Now, here is here is the the loop, the row up, the row loop up. We will about 40, 40 to forty five cm. We we will anastomose this loop with the stomach. Now, how we deliver stomach is easy. Already we have delivered it. Just above, we, just above the colon, we push the colon back, and then you deliver the, the, the stomach, okay? Now, how, how we deliver? We push everything back. All the loops should be pushed back again. This loop and anastomosis will be pushed back again. Okay? Just hemostasis, let little bit walk. Okay. And here is, here is the, this the anastomosis we will do with the stomach. Here is the stomach. You see, up, and it is easily the most distal part of the stomach will be delivered. Just pull the, the stomach up. You see, here is the stomach. Okay. This is the, the stomach very easily see. You push unnecessary part in, and all that is very, the most distal part in the antrum, or distal to the antrum. The most distal part has been choose. And here is 
Here is the loop, we'll push it back again. The unnecessary loops should be in the row and Y. Even you can do loop. Loop, loop gastrogenosome is easier, but we don't do for B9. This is a relatively young patient. Here is the stomach. And here is the, the, the loop for anastomosis. Okay. Sponge. You see, here is the loop for the anastomosis. Now, the gastrogenostomy is done ordinarily side to side. It's not difficult, very easy. Every, every surgeon can imagine how you do it. Is not, we are not discussing the method of gastrogenostomy. We are only discussing the method of how to do with this small incision, with this small incision of one inch. Okay, exactly, you see, it's one inch. This small incision of one inch, how we deliver all these structures and how we do raw and wide. Okay, this is, this is the way. Okay, this is the loop delivered. This is another stomach part delivered again. And then we will do the anastomosis here, side to side. This is the principle. Okay, then we push it back. No drain, no stomach tube. Because there was, the, the stomach has been prepared. Now this, this is the end of the operation. You see the incision, it is what my finger is passing. The thumb is fit with the incision. You see, here is the thumb. Fit with the incision, it is a single part, like a single part laparoscopy, okay? You see, this is the umbilicus, this is the incision after completion of gastro and one. You see, Let's look at it. Okay.